Hey folks, welcome to Friday Night Magic here at Frontline Games. I'm your host, Randy. I have a good friend, Tim. He got the buy, so he's going to help out with this commentary. I did, I did. Josh is playing Black White Adventure, and Logan's playing Golgari Agro. We're uh, going to knock on the wall and let him know that it is time. All right, shop land. No, that's a temple of okay, Maledi, yep. Skyland. Sky, yep. And you can hear what they're saying, right? Uh, I can't. You can't hear them? It's weird because I got a lot of reverb. Try to fix it so we can hear each other again. Yeah, I got uh, pretty muffled. I can hear you good, though. Uh, popular new plays, the uh, Pell Collector. Yep. And then he played Raise the Alarm, which puts in two tokens, and he's going to block a token. Is Raise the Alarm standard? That'd be funny if it wasn't. <laughs> Uh, Google it. Uh, it is. Yep. It's in. It's an M20. It's a good card. I think you're gonna see that in a lot of decks. I think so too. Oh, there's Questing Beast. Yep. We're going to be seeing him all night. What's funny is raising the alarm, you can't block the Questing Beast with the tokens. So Josh is in a little bit of a hurt. Find an answer quick. Giant killer? Yep, giant killer will do it. Yep. Logan going down to 16 here. So it's 16 all. Yeah, that guy's really good. <laughs> yeah, he took that first hit, too. Another good card, Once Upon a Time. Yeah, he used it uh, on Logan's turn, because it's an instant, as yep. the first spell he played, and then it allowed him to get another spell. So you're seeing that the advantage of that card. Yeah. Looking for an answer, I think. I think he found it. Another giant killer. Another question beast getting in there. Yep. Uh, 
I don't think he's got an answer for the Quest of Beast. So we will kill him light. Two cast gunshot. Yep. And then I will pay one light to return his attack to my hand. That's cute. And now he's going to be able to... Mm -hmm. Good play. Yeah, but if Logan has another ha hasty questing beast, you know, because he's running four. Yep. Yeah, I think we should get used to seeing that card a lot. Number one card. Oh, no. Uh, Garuk's pretty good, too. Yep. He gets his ultimate so fast. Uh, in your turn, I'll pay one to catch up the box if I just try to it. Yeah, when we look at uh, Group Cursed Huntsman. Well, that's not the one we want, though, is it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that is the new one. Yep. Wow, he costs six. Mm -hmm. But expensive. create two wolves. Yep. And then destroy target creature, draw a card. That's pretty big. Yep. But the emblem, creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and have trample. That's overrun all the time. And you get that as soon as one dolph or one wolf dies. You can go ahead and drop that. And I said black-white adventure, but it's green-white adventure, so i got to change his deck name. Be interesting to see if he's running some quest and beasts. Probably. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, looked like he had a great hinge in his hand, too. What is, what does it say? So making two more wolves here. That makes that great hinge cost, because it's normally 12. I think it's going to be like a four. It should be four cost, I believe. Looks like he's going to drop it. Yep. Which is really good, because now you can gain life. Adding mana, and then whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it and draw a card. So It's very popular in the mono green builds, too, for obvious reasons. Some more raise the alarm. I still think like Josh is at a disadvantage here, mainly because Logan's getting a board state. He's got the grand hit, great hinged on board. He's going to be able to gain life. The wolf tokens, they are going to add up. Yep. He still got. Uh, Josh is able to put put together a pretty good board state from behind there too, though. Yeah, but the great hinge is definitely put it there. And the fact that Logan still has that Planeswalker. Yeah, the more that, the longer he stays out there, the worse it's about to get. Yeah, because putting out two wolves a turn is, is pretty immense. It has four loyalty counters. As soon as they go. And here comes the Murderous Rider. Another amazing card. That's a small life. It's such a versatile card, though, because you take him two life. Yep. And then uh, you push him back out, and he's got two life links. So. What's that one green floating? Look at that great hinge doing some work here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the longer this goes, the uh, worse this is going to get. If he's got a uh, removal champion. Yeah, I think Josh. 
He should probably try to go Abzan, but it's a little too late. He's committed to green white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Garuk is doing some work here for yep. those that that haven't seen it before. It is a pretty amazing card. Combined with that, uh, the hand just it's pretty pretty scary stuff. Josh decides to scoop it up there because yep. he sees the writing on the wall. So Logan winning game one right there. Some really uh, fun, cool-looking uh, adventure decks going around. Yeah, that mechanic is, is really, really good, actually. Yep. <clears throat> so Josh with a Once Upon a Time, he has... Lands, uh, yep. Once upon a time from Logan. That card is great. I have four of them. <laughs> and that card's also really well as yep. to to get lands. Um, fabled, fabled passage, I believe it's called. Yep. That's why I have you here, Tim. I have no idea what these card <laughs> names are. I'm running it. That's, I think, why I know it. <laughs> Me and uh, Logan are almost a mirror match, actually. Slightly different, though. I like that card a lot. It's pretty good. Yeah. So Love Shark Beast putting a 1-1 one, one out and then being able to cast it next turn for 3. 6 power if you have 4 mana. And, or 6 power over 2 turns is really good. That's crazy good. So Fable Passage being one of the best... You know, it, they, they got Prismatic Vista in, in Modern, but Fable Passage in Standard. It's amazing how powerful that card really is. You know, it's an evolving wild plus. Yep, yep. Yeah, well, Logan now knows to be a little bit more cautious with it and to build it up. Yep. Logan almost bluffed about blocking there. <laughs> so love struck beast. Yep. Nineteen seventeen in favor of Josh. You know, if Logan loses here, it's gonna be hard to get him back into that room for a while. <laughs> Do you believe I see a questing beast in his hand too? Oh, so he's probably leading that he is because he just asked about. But Grow Chamber Guardian is pretty good. Very good card. If you're running the Golgari Aggro, that's you're gonna. It's pretty much standard in that build. Oh. So end of turn, raise the alarm after taking the damage. Mm -hmm. He's got the... Uh, he's trying to hold up Giant Killer. Well, he's also... He's got the... Uh, uh, Planeswalker. 4-4. Four, four, indestructible. Gideon. Yep. He's holding the Gideon, too. So... The question is, is does he put Gideon out there and risk it to get hit by Questing Beast? Yeah, I don't think he does. And I don't think he does either. Yeah, I don't think he risks it for the biscuit. Oh, oh he is going to risk it. <laughs> we were wrong. I think that was a good play. I don't think he's got an answer for it right away. Oh, that's really neat. Brings out Loxodon, which can block. And it's 
gives his uh, anything that convoked a counter. Uh, go ahead. I think in his position, though, he almost has to. I think he forgot it. to use Gideon's abilities. He could have made the Loxodon indestructible. Oh, it's Raska. I think uh, Gideon's about to go. Yep. Such a good Planeswalker. Golgari Queen. Yeah, but she should most likely get attacked here and, yep. and taken down. Because that's three 2-2 two -two tokens. Mm -hmm. And did he just draw? No, he did not draw another one. I think he's got two giant killers in hand, though. <clears throat> Definitely both of them are played a bit more reserved. Yeah, killing giants is what he needs to do. I think Logan's contemplating uh, questing. You and these are going to split one of you and two of her. So Logan's choosing to go down to 10. Oh, Garrick's out. He's going to put out some wolves. Those giant killers aren't looking that good in his hand. He just, uh... Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Yep. He can just play one. You know, he's got so many. Might as well just play one out there <laughs> as a one-two. Yeah. And he does. Yep. Second Barrel, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Josh doesn't want to do here is go creature to creature with him though. He's gonna try to. He's gonna have to figure something out. Side tracks is bad. Thank you for uh, the follow. Side tracks is bad. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. A lot of action going on here tonight. <laughs> Beautiful how those foil showcase cards look. Josh's phone going off. <laughs> yeah, I think it said dad. It's important call. Yeah. He can talk to dad after the match. <laughs> Logan's starting to really stabilize. Garuk is doing so much power. That's, yeah, that's what I was saying. He, he's gonna, he's gonna have to do something because he just lets this continue to build. He's gonna. Uh, one of the cre the the creature taps to tap. So now he's packing in. I think that's the smart play. Yeah, all this is fine. So he's attacking at Garouk. Yeah, Josh or Nathan. He he has he did turn his phone down. It was his dad calling. <laughs> he said, "Hey, turn off your phone." How are you doing tonight, Nathan? So Logan's thinking about, do I 
Do I let Garuk go? Yep. And I think you do. Because if he has another Garuk in hand, he can just play it again. And he adapts their growth chamber guardian. Go looking for one. There it is. That card is it's going to see a lot of play. Yeah, putting the Munchkins to bed. And now you get to watch some wonderful stream here at Frontline Games. And we appreciate you watching. Josh has done a good job of managing two planeswalkers and building a pretty good fourth state too, though. What? So, which is vengeance naming human? Aren't those soldiers? Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Tokens are soldiers. That's oh. a good point. Not I humans. I thought they were humans. They're not named soldiers. Okay, then you don't get the yeah. humans. So these yeah. do. This day. So these would die. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out. I don't find they're all. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to double check, check it real quick. I think you got soldier tokens. Yeah, they're I soldiers. Didn't know that these were soldiers. We're not going to pay for this. That's interesting. Thank you, You're welcome. So a little bit of confusion because he used a human token versus a soldier token. And I think it's wrong to kill soldiers. <laughs> and it just proves that soldiers are not human. Uh, <laughs> right, Tim? That's fair. You're not human. <laughs> You're a soldier. For five more years. <laughs> and I get to go to couch company. Hey, I, I like couch company. That's how I got this, this big old insulation across this six packs of abs. That I have underneath. I probably had it before I got out too. <laughs> so it looks like Logan's going sideways. He's thinking about damage after he was able to kill yeah. a bunch of humans or soldiers. No, no, no. It should be tapped because it tapped down one uh, Logan's growth chamber guardian. Nathan, or uh, Battery Clam. He activated the ability of Giant Killer, which can tap a creature. You're, you're probably talking about this one, Battery Clam? He used the ability to tap down the growth chamber guardian. That's why it was tapped. But I've been proven wrong before, you know. That's a good uh, ability on that card. That's a very versatile card, too. As it's now 9 8, Josh's favor still. Oh, Logan has a Night Pack Ambusher in his hand, which gives Wolf's plus one, plus one. Such center G with Garuk. No, he swung with it. He swung like everything at at Logan. You're talking about the the showcase. The showcase giant killer. <laughs> All right, so Josh has three creatures to block with. He can tap two creatures. If he does, he won't be able to block with those ones. Yeah, I might have to rewatch it, Battery Clam. I'm sorry. I may have missed it. Ooh. Legion's End. Uh, this could be a game changer right here. 
got one giant killer. And he put in the questing. Yeah, exile target creature and opponent controls with converted mana cost two or less and all other creatures that player controls with the same name as that creature. So, wouldn't Giant Killer be dead too? Oh, that wasn't a Giant. No, it that, wasn't. No. Yeah. I thought he went after Giant. Oh. Yep, and Logan was able to get there. Wow. That was some crazy match right there. Some crazy magic. As Logan wins the match 2-0. And, yeah, I'm probably going to have to watch it again to see what that interaction was. Yeah, but I didn't catch it. I didn't, I didn't catch it either. Probably because, you know, he cast the Witch's Vengeance. And, he, and the tokens were misrepresented as humans when they were soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know... A whole bunch of different magic just happened there. <laughs> the adventure mechanic that. seems to be pretty strong. Folks, we're going to take a small break. We'll be back at, for round two action, so stay tuned. You're watching Friday Night Magic here at Frontline Games. <laughs> 